so uh, in the beginning of the Monteverdi Vespers, from which this particular Magnificat is taken from, because Monteverdi wrote several Magnificats, a, a set of them much later on in the uh, 1640s, but this one is from the 1610 Vespers. It's, wow! So here the beginning is so homophonic. <laughs> And then sometimes he's super polyphonic. So, uh, as opposed, I would say to Palestrina, Monteverdi could be both uh, homophonic right. and polyphonic. Um, and he would write melodies in his operas that were accompanied. Uh, I think the term monody is uh, coined from that era when there's just a melody and an, a, a comp an accompaniment, which is the basso continuo, the root of the basso continuo tradition, right? Uh, Bach, of course, uh, master of polyphony, but also writing uh, melodies with accompaniment. Uh, he could do both, uh, but he loved his polyphony, we all know that. But the thing that really changed and developed uh, is, of course, uh, the, um, ten the uh, focus in Bach's music on the harmonic tension. Uh, the ability to create arcs, huge arcs, by virtue of going from a tonic to a tonic parallel to the dominance dominant and and then from a major key, suddenly in the middle of the piece, in the B section, he would go into the minor key parallel. Right. So often he would play with a, those with great awareness of the language of harmonic structure, which he in turn, of course, developed from, from Schütz, he was a pre precursor, I would say, to that, which Bach mastered. And uh, it's very interesting to see how much happened from 1610, the Monteverdi Vespers, to the uh, 1723 Bach Magnificat. Wow.